And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. When I was at a convention recently, I saw a game Push It. Now, this box is nothing to look at here. It's not very impressive at all. But I saw people flicking discs around on a table. And I'm a big sucker for flicking anything on a table. So several of my favorite games include that mechanism. And these discs were nice, thick, chunky discs. And it just looked interesting. So I sat down and tried it out. And they taught me this game. At the beginning of the game, you're going to take a piece here. This is the jack. It looks like two wooden discs glued together. It's not. It's just like kind of a ridge there. And these are wooden discs. They're very light. And so this is just placed in the middle of the table. Each player is going to take two pieces of their color, so you can see the different colors that are included in the game. And again, these are thick discs, but they're very light. And each player is going to take a different spot on the edge of the table. So we'll take the edge of this table. Now this table has some bars in it with some lines, so it may not go as smoothly as a table where there isn't any. But when it's your turn, you're going to put this disc on the edge of the table, and you can slap it and move it like that or you can you know flick it or you can chop it or you can you know do your typical flip like flick like that and when you do the flicks what you're trying to do is you're trying to get as close to the jack as you possibly can while at the same time knocking someone else over so each person is going to do one hit from different edges of the table i'm shooting them all from the same side here but after that Whoever is the farthest away, so here the mustard color one is the farthest away, so they would go next. So, and then the second farthest away is blue, and then red. Now when you're shooting, the, the game has basically a rule that you have to stay in your chair. You can't move out of your chair. You can lift one cheek to some degree. You can lean, but you only have a certain section of the table. All right, so there you can see I actually pushed the jack piece. Now what happened here is this made this piece the closest one. So they get one point. You take that off, now we look for the second closest one. This, if the second closest one was the same color, you would, that person would get two points. So if you can get the two closest, that's two points. If you ever knock this piece off the table, you lose two points. But the, only the person who's closest is gonna score, then you start over again and the winner is gonna go first because going last is an advantage. If it's hard to tell who's closer, then you have a shoot off where just those two people will go and they'll both shoot at the same time and whoever's closer will win the point for that round. If something else is on the table and you happen to hit it for whatever reason, then that can't be moved and now it's in play. I mean, I suppose you could put things on the table on purpose or whatever. Uh, you can also play teams of two versus two, or uh, if you're playing with two players, each person can take two colors of each. You know, you can play the blues against the oranges and the yellows. And the first person to get seven points is the winner. Although, of course, you can change the number of points to any number that you want to play. And that's how it goes. So that's pretty much the game. It's, like I said, this doesn't look very impressive, but you don't need to keep it in that. The game comes with a bag. There's your game right here. The rules, you don't even really need to keep these rules with the game because it's pretty simple. Now, you may be thinking what I'm thinking, come on, I can just do that with any discs of a game and play that. You're right, you can. There's a couple things that I would promote this about. One is I like the quality of the pieces a lot. These are really nice discs. I think I like these better even than the discs used in uh, Carabande, Pitch Car, Crokinole things like that. They're just good discs and they slide smoothly over tables. This table had, that I showed it to you on has a few ridges in it because of the, the panels and it still worked really well on this table. On some, I, I've seen it on glass, I've tried it on wood. It just works really well in different situations. But here's the deal. I really like a game called Crokinole. Many people have played Crokinole. It's a very similar game where you're trying to flick discs, hit another disc and land in a hole. It's a simple yet elegant game. The problem with Crokinole is a couple things. One, extremely expensive, and two, you need to store that board somewhere. In fact, even though I got a copy of Crokinole, I eventually got rid of it because I just couldn't, I didn't have any room to put it anywhere in my house. Well, this I have room to put, and this is pretty much 
almost identical feeling that I get to crokinole. Yes, I know crokinole has the little things that you can knock it off of, but here it's just a simple get as close to the disc, but the disc can move. And you know, there's different things going on and you can play this on any table, anywhere, low lighting, uh, you know, people crowding around a, a table at a restaurant. It's very portable, very easy to carry. And I just kind of like that thing. I like trying to get the closest to it, knocking it off the table, you know, cause you want to shoot towards it. You might want to hit it, but you don't want to really want to hit it. And you're trying to hit the other people's pieces. It just, it's just a very quick, simple game. And honestly, there's not a whole lot more for me to say here because that's what it is. If you like flicking games and try to get things close to something else, this is a game I think that's gonna be up your alley. I like how it looks, it's good quality, and it's portable and easy to carry around. You don't need that giant crokinole board. In fact, I do, I'll do. i play crokinole if someone else has it, but if I have my chance, I'll probably play this because it's easier, smaller, and better. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent into my collection. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.